Well, if you're like me, it kind of bugs me a little that I got to buy something just to throw something away. Such is the case, of course, with yard trash bags. Gone are the days when you could buy the large plastic trash bags, pack them as full as you wanted, put them out the street, and they take them. These days, most municipalities have figured out they can actually make money by composting your yard waste and selling it back to you as compost. So they wanted to put everything in paper bags because nobody wants to buy compost with a whole bunch of little plastic pieces all embedded in it. So after experimenting around a little bit, here's how I figured out how to buy the minimum number of paper bags to dispose of the maximum amount of yard leaf litter. First on the list of things you're going to want to have is a good heavy duty trash can. In this case, one that would probably be a metal can or a heavy duty plastic can. As to the size of the plastic container or the metal container, we'll get into that shortly. As we'll see a little bit later on in the video, a good light duty hand truck comes in handy. This will avoid spilling them on the way to the street. Also saves your back, as you'll see a little later in the video, they do get kind of heavy. Another add-on to the hand truck I found out works really well is a short bungee cord. Probably in this case about two foot relaxed and about three foot extended. Always advisable to protect your hands, so a good set of leather gloves comes in handy here too. This is an optional item, but I found out it comes in handy. A short step stool. We'll see how I'm going to use it later in the video. Always required, of course, are the paper yard waste bags. I like Costco's because, generally speaking, they're the biggest I could find, and I found that they work perfect with the container I'm using. Here's another highly optional item, something to pack the leaves with. In this case, this is two old disc brake rotors that are bolted together. I suppose an old bowling ball will work just as well. Somewhat optional, a leaf scoop of some kind tends to collect more leaves and make it easier to pack them. Rounding out Ed's list of things he thinks he needs, a good old-fashioned rake. Here's my initial setup. Note the bungee cord is holding the trash can by its handles. The next step is to go ahead and open the trash bag, and indeed it should be self-standing at this point. Now it's time to insert the paper trash bag in my metal container. In this case, I'm just making sure it's completely open at the bottom, and it's completely freestanding and as tall as I can get it in the container. A couple special notes. Uh, you'll note I'm putting the leaves in the trash can out in the main yard. Ordinarily, I put the can back in with the leaves and fill them up there. I just did this because I didn't want to knock the camera over into the leaf pile and possibly damage the camera. The other thing I'm doing that may seem a little strange is I've got a leather glove on one hand and a latex glove on the other. At the time of this video, I had a cut on the one hand, and I was trying to make sure that I didn't get the cut infected, so I want a latex glove. I already checked to make sure there were no fire ants in the leaf pile. For purposes of speeding up the video, I've edited out the time between fillings, but not the total number of fillings to go in the paper bag. It's always a good idea to go ahead and separate out any small sticks or any other woody debris out of the leaves. Just make sure you don't tear the bags, because when you start stomping or compressing the bag litter, it's real easy for a stick to cut the bag. One other little trick I've found is if you can leave them alone outside in a pile and let it rain on it a couple of times, they'll pack a whole lot better. That little pre-composting here helps get a nice tight leaf pack. Now, as promised, here's my criteria for matching bags and container sizes so I don't tear the bags as I'm packing them. The Costco yard waste bags have a cross-sectional dimension of 16 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. Doubling each dimension and adding them together gives me a total outside perimeter of 57 inches. Dividing that perimeter of 57 inches by pi gives me an equivalent diameter of 18.16 inches. The metal container I'm using is just slightly under 18 inches at the bottom, and at the middle it's right at 19 inches. This makes it extremely close to what I need in an ideal container to get maximum leaves in a Costco bag. As you can see here, I'm using my leaf compaction device to go ahead and get a nice tight pack in the bags. Now I'll go ahead and add two more scoop full of leaves, and then I'll do my final compaction. In this case, of course, you're going to see I'm going to go ahead and use a stepladder, get up on top of the stepladder, and compress the leaves by basically standing on the leaf bag while it's inside the metal container. 
this is pretty stable because the metal container is sitting on the hand truck and I can use the hand truck to make it safe for me to step in the bag and step out of the bag without having to worry about the bag or the container falling over. After I complete this step, I've pretty well got the maximum amount of leaves and be able to get in the bag, at least to the point where I'm standing on them. Now I'll release the bungee cord holding the trash can to the hand truck, fold the leaf bag over, then take it out and flip the trash can upside down to get the leaf bag out of it. Now I'll flip the leaf bag right side up and I can add a couple more scoops of leaves to finish it off. And now as you watch me clean up a few details, here's a funny story that originated after I started doing this. We had a neighborhood prankster, probably a teenager and probably with a pickup truck. It took great delight in running into leaves that were neatly stacked up waiting to be picked up and scattering the leaves and the bags all over somebody's yard, making that person come back out and do it all over again. I say had because he tried one of mine and I think that cured him. I had filled up probably about six to eight bags and set them out the street. Came out the next morning to find one bag knocked over in the street and another one shredded way out in the pavement. Here's what I think happened. My neighborhood prankster, instead of scattering leaves, apparently ran up on top of them. Near as I can tell, the front of the truck would have probably jumped up about 12 inches, ran over the first bag, ran into the second bag. The first bag got caught in the wheel well of the truck, threw him back on the street, then dragged the first bag for a while, thoroughly shredding it. So I'm pretty sure I sent him off in search of three things. Number one, a chiropractor. Number two, a dentist. And number three, a front end alignment shop. Haven't seen that boy since. I think he learned his lesson. And here's the final payoff. Ordinarily, of course, you get probably about 10 to 15 pounds of leaves in a bag if you don't pack the bags. Doing it this way, you can get as much as 40 to 50 pounds of leaves. Obviously, it means you get to buy half to a third as many trash bags. That wraps up this on the money saving tip. Hope you found it useful. If you did, Give me a like and consider subscribing. I just might have something else you're going to want to see coming down real soon. Until then, take care. We'll see you on the next video.